This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with some PowerPoint tips to help you make happy hour. Part two of how to make your presentations awesome. Breaking up your bullets by showing your text visually. And beyond the normal add more pictures advice, I'll show you how to take lists like this and using just shapes, turn them into something like this. What we like to call showing your text visually. So first I'll show you how to pull this off and then I'll give you a couple of extra examples that you can chew on. And here in PowerPoint, to save you some repetition, I'll start with a shorter list of just four topics for a meeting agenda that I want to make more visual. And from these four topics, I'll build it up to 10 at the end. And if you want to follow along, just pick a slide you have with a similar sized list of shorter bullets. I'll show you what to do with longer ones in a minute. Now first off, valuing our time, we want to set ourselves up for speed by putting the alignment tool on our QAT. And to quickly do that, from the Home tab, Open the Arrange Tool drop-down, right-click the Alignment Tool, select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Let's then customize our Quick Access Toolbar, select More Commands, select the default commands, and click Remove until only the Alignment Tool or the Align Objects command is there in our QAT, and hit OK. And if you want more practice with this, check out our other YouTube video called How to Quickly Align and Distribute Objects. And now that we're all set up, I'll hit Control shift d to duplicate the slide, and here on the new slide, move the list off to the right. Let's then start by grabbing a rectangle from the Shapes Gallery, draw it on our slide, and before we move on, let's lock down its formatting and dimensions. So for font size, I'll choose 12. For font color, I'll choose black. From the Drawing Tools Format tab for Shape Fill, I'll choose white, Shape Outline Black, and Shape Outline Weight, half point. For height, I'll choose 0.75, hit enter. And for width, I'll type 8, hit enter. I'll then select my rectangle and align it to the center of my slide. So Alt 1 for alignment, H for distribute horizontally. And because we need four different rectangles, I'll holding the Control and Shift key, drag down once, twice, three times, so that I have four rectangles in total, and hit escape. To quickly bring our text over, we can triple click, Control X to cut, Control V to paste, the second row, the third row, and the fourth row, and hit escape. We also want to bring our meeting agenda over, so I'm going to rearrange my rectangles a little bit, hit escape, Control Shift drag a copy of the rectangle up, select my meeting agenda, Control X to cut, triple click, Control V to paste. I'll delete the text box here on the right. And let's also make some contrast for our meeting agenda title. So I'll select the meeting agenda title. I'm going to fill it with a dark blue. I'll change the font color to a white. I'll hit Control-B to unbold the text and Control-U to take the underline away and hit Escape. Let's then distribute everything vertically on our slide. So select all the objects, Alt-1 for alignment, V for distribute vertically, hit Escape, and Shift-F5. So there's the first cut of our list, making it more visual. And it still looks pretty boring, but it's better than the default list that we started with. From here, we can spice the layout up by breaking the numbers out into individual rectangles. To do that, let's just select our rectangles, Control shift drag to the right to about there, click in, shift and delete to get rid of the text, shift and delete, shift and delete, and one more time, shift and delete, holding shift, select our rectangles, we'll snap them into the right side, Control E to center them. Let's also fill them with a light gray to give them some contrast. Select our other rectangles. Use our smart guides to snap in there on the right. And from here, let's just delete this redundant number. Delete, 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 delete. Hit escape twice, shift F5, and there you go. That's what our graphic now looks like, which is looking pretty good. But this is where a lot of people get stuck. They avoid using shapes like this because they believe it's now hard to add another row, right? Well, let's add another row and let's do it in the hardest possible place, smack there in the middle. And to add another row, let's just select topic number two and we'll add it below topic number two. So control shift drag down, hit escape. Let's then select all the rectangles on the right, holding shift, select the agenda, alt one for alignment, V for distribute vertically, hit escape. Let's do the same thing with the numbers on the far left, alt one for alignment, V for distribute vertically, hit escape. Now we do need to manually change these numbers, but this isn't so bad. Number four, 
topic number five, hit escape twice, and shift F5. So that was quickly adding a new row smack there in the middle of our graphic. Now we did have to renumber the rectangles on the left, but that's a small price to pay for professional looking graphics. Well now what if we want to take this out to 10 topics instead of just five? Well, we can quickly do that with our control shift drag shortcut. So let's take a look. And to take this out to 10 talking points, we just need to select our rectangles here on the right, drag into the left about halfway, select all of them, control shift drag to the right, use our smart guides and hit escape. Now we can either renumber these one through 10 or we can break this into two different meeting agenda lists. For example, maybe we move this to the left and in here we type morning meeting agenda, hit escape, control shift drag to the right, use our smart guides. Maybe this is the afternoon, afternoon meeting agenda, hit escape. And to give it some contrast, I'll fill it with a black fill, hit escape and shift F5. And there you go. In just a couple of minutes, we took a boring list like this and turned it into two professional looking meeting agendas like this. Now, if you had more time to work on this, there are a number of additional things you could do, but for just spending a couple of minutes on this, this is pretty good. So that's an example of working with shorter bullets, so not a lot of text. What about bullets like this? And assuming that you don't have a bunch of charts, pictures, or fancy graphics to work with, you can use the same technique to build something like this, stacking the bullets in a vertical box. Or you could rearrange them into something like this, using circles for their numbers instead of rectangles. Now, if you had a bit more time to work with, you could also incorporate some of the other text visually into the graphic. For example, you can see that these incentive programs increased company sales by 40%. So you could do something like this, incorporating a timeline of some kind and the actual percentages that each incentive program contributed. And this would be the type of slide that would look good in a client pitch or proposal. Now, as a bonus tip for making it this far in the video, another way you can make these types of lists even more sophisticated is with icons or graphics. For example, here's a list of missing features that I consolidated for a blog post for PowerPoint on your iPad. And to keep with the bullet theme, I made it into this. And to make those icons there on the left, representing the bullets, all I did was take screenshots of the different PowerPoint commands, put them in a rectangle, and then use them as my visual bullets. Now this took a bit longer than the other examples, but if I flip back to what I started with and then flip back to what we used, you can see that the extra effort pays off. So that's a concrete technique and some great examples that you can use to quickly break up your bullets and make your presentations awesome. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe on our website to make sure that you're up to date with our latest strategies and techniques. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training and I'll see you at happy hour.